in this video we are checking out a terraria mod that adds in a npc for each boss in the game let's go ahead and check out what they do all right so we're here we got the npc boss mod installed oh don't worry about this boom bosses as npcs and as you can see is a good bit here it even includes some mini bosses but yeah let's go ahead let's go through them let's start with the king slime there's my boy right there oh my boy is looking dapper so let's see what he sells here i am the king slime i'm i mean i'm not gonna say that you're not we got shop one as you can see he sells all his goodies here he also sells not just all his goodies but he's got gel slime staff he's got the certain headpiece that he's wearing he's got the gloves he's got the alternate costume shoot let me take some of these he also has a second shop nothing in it so i'm assuming maybe in the future this mod plans to add more unique items yeah let me go ahead and get naked okay not exactly naked but let's just put on this fit you know what are we working with oh so that, that makes like the tips of my fingers blue you know you know like how you get like cheeto dust on your fingers that's like this but instead of cheeto dust i got slime all right what about this okay it's just full-on gloves a hey, low-key looking like walter white when he had the hazmat suit on here all right i do want to see how this npc is in terms of fighting so let's go ahead let's bring in none other than the king slime himself and let's see the damage okay don't die let me i just want to see what you do man don't don't die fighting yourself so it looks like he throws out a little like blue dagger a little gel dagger something like that cool he doesn't do crazy damage i mean this is a npc versus a boss i don't expect too much but as we get later on with the harder bosses i do expect a little bit more from them like if i spawn in a moon lord town npc bro i expect that moon lord town npc to be able to kill some bosses pretty fast oh shout out my boy red in the background the creator terraria all right next up let us bring in the eye cthulhu npc here looking he's not looking dapper i'm not gonna say that looking uh, he looks like the eye that's that's really it there he's selling all his goodies plus his outfit and i always gotta check shop too you never know <clears throat> all right let's put on his outfit let's see how we're looking with this outfit dang he looked just like me he stole my swag all right let's go ahead let's bring in an enemy here see how the eye does against some enemies oh okay i see you. that was a penetrating weapon he was able to kill multiple at once there it looks like he throws out a little eyeball that's cool next up let's go ahead let's bring in the eater of worlds here now he looks really cool he's actually got like a tail and everything look at that let me go ahead talk to him get that tail off of him i'll be taking this oh i didn't mean to buy a worm tooth boom we got our fit here let's go ahead let's see him in action against some enemies i'm interested to see what he throws out what you got for us oh okay so he throws out the little the little scourge attack corruption scourge scourge of corruption something like that that's the name of the weapon cool i do kind of want to see him against a boss let's see what, what you got for king slime we might as well throw the eye cthulhu npc in here too uh boom there he is these two combined low key could probably take on this boss no problem they're really not doing that bad all right we got the brain of cthulhu npc here and he's pretty cool i like his uh, little tentacles he has he walks very funny i like him it's my favorite one so far his shop obviously he's got the goods in his shop but uh let's see him in action in terms of a fighting ability what you got man ew that's kind of nasty my boy he pee peeing on him i don't know man great damage though because it is icor all right next up queen b this has got to be like the widest npc look how wide she is go ahead and cough up your suit here your outfit was a hat boom she sells a good bit of items here i guess the queen b does have a very big uh, loot pool oh got to see a little bit of her attack okay looks like she shoots out stingers that's what it looks like she does honestly expect it wait how come i don't get the wings i gotta buy the wings separate Oh, I got scammed. I got to get the wings separately. All right, we got Skeletron here next. Let's go ahead and see what my boy has. Hey, he's selling Chippy's couch. So if y'all been looking for that, you know, having troubles getting the drops, perfect. But yeah, let's see what type of attacks he does. Ooh, okay, I was expecting him to throw out like a bone glove attack. Now, he's got some heat-seeking skulls that he shoots out. And they do around like the same damage. It seems like all the NPCs uh, or the boss NPCs do like around 25, 30. I don't know if that's capped or if it's just a coincidence or what. Who knows? All right, bringing out the deer clops next. Okay, I like this one too. 
This dude looks goofy. I like when they look goofy. Oh, it's because he's got like hooves pretty much. That's why he walks a little bit weird. Boom. Now me and him can blend in. We're not blending in with human beings. Definitely not doing that. But we can blend in with other deer cops. Oh, he turns purple in attacks. That's a really good attack. I like this attack the most so far. And I also like that he turns purple. Can I turn purple too? Is that an option? That's the best I can do when it comes to purple. I don't know. Maybe let's try this one. Does this help out anymore? Oh, now I'm just black deer clops. You think, you think I can say the N-word now? Last but not least, I hope, uh, unless I miss something for pre-hard mode, that is. We have the wall of flesh. Ew disgusting so we got this headpiece which is the one he's rocking but i'm actually gonna rock this one he also has a back piece which uh is kind of nasty i don't know oh okay that's like the tentacles in the back okay that makes sense now i like this one better i look cuter okay i don't know if that's the word to describe it but what type of attacks does he have let's see hungries maybe oh i was close i was close it was the leeches another great attack he's talking about fish all right now we're hopping into hard mode let's start with just uh yeah let's do the queen slime first actually let's do dreadnought first dreadnoughtless okay he looks a little goofy i feel like his head should be way bigger but he still looks cool he, it's a good kind of goofy i do like the uh the moon lord tentacles as their feet is very nice and this boy he sells a lot of goodies here he sells a lot of goodies let's go ahead let's put on the fit hey now we looking cool as hell dreadnoughtless low-key one of my favorite looking uh mini bosses in terraria i don't know there's something about all the new blood bosses quote unquote new 1.4 is a little old at this point but like the blood eel the the blood jellyfish whatever the heck the other thing is they all look cool kind of wish that dread nautilus was a full boss i know there's like some mods and stuff that uh make the dread not a full boss i kind of agree with that i feel like it makes more sense and that way the bosses in 1.4 were more diverse instead of just hollow theme bosses only but yeah let's see what type of attacks he has what you got man fish tentacles i don't even remember what he does you dash oh you just spits blood on him okay i kind of want to see you hit it there we go that did a good bit of damage he is a hard mode NPC, so i expect it all right next up queen slime boom i'm a big fan as you can see i was already in my uh my dress up my role play outfit here my cosplay there's the word i was looking for let's peeper shop cool she got the goodies and if i want to i could switch to the crown it's kind of funny how her vanilla mask has a crown but the king slimes vanilla mask doesn't have a crown so this mod adds in one that doesn't have one and then it adds one that does have one for the king slime all right let's see your attacks what do you have for attacks okay it looks like she just throws out this little projectile she has that she shoots around during the boss fight all right let's go ahead let's start bringing out the mech bosses here starting with retinazer and spaz so i'm assuming both of these dudes I, I don't know if they would spawn in at the same time or what no idea how that would work in terms of uh npc spawning if they would come in a duo or not but yeah we, we get two different helmets here let's put them on cool ew i don't like how they talk how their mouth moves like that but yeah we got the retinazer one we got the spaz one cool cool let's see how they attack we kind of saw a little glimpse of how one of them attacked but let's see them really in action okay I like that their head actually changes to their attacks. That's really cool. This one also changes to like the cursed fireball, opens his mouth and everything. That's really cool. I wonder, do they include the helmets for that? I kind of wish they had a helmet with just like the laser sticking out and the uh, the mouth open. That would be kind of cool, maybe in the future. All right, next up, let's bring in the destroyer here. My boy also has a tail like his other counterpart. Cool, let's throw that on and let us see his attack i'm assuming lasers or probes oh look i was i was pretty much on the money it was literally a probe shooting a laser if i just flipped what i said it was perfect oh and they also explode that's kind of cool so he's got like an up close explosion with the probes and then if he throws the probes like over the enemy shoots a laser that's really cool all right next up we got skeletron prime let me go ahead copy his fit and let's see what you got my boy what do you have for us in store lasers bombs bombs or does he have multiple attacks maybe when they get close does he have another attack nah seems like he just throws out the bombs okay i would like if he they got close he whips out like his saw or his vice grip or something all right next up let's go ahead let's see plantera damn i like plantera so this one has a back piece that's why it looks so bulky this is cool i like this one i wonder if 
Nah, okay. I was gonna say, like, do you think like tentacles shot out if I jumped or something? But yeah, let's see Plantera's attacks. I'm assuming something with the spike balls, right? Oh, <laughs> that was what I was not expecting. That is the last thing I expected Plantera to do was whip out the guitar and start playing some riffs. I respect it, Planter. I really do. All right, next up here, we have the Golem. Let's go ahead. Let's see what type of attacks he does. Probably a laser. Okay, a fireball. Keep it nice and simple. I think I would prefer, like, the lasers he shoots out. I feel like that would just be better. Also do more damage. Next up, but after that, we'll go ahead and do the Duke, and then we'll start knocking out some other uh, bosses before we do Cultus and Moonlord. Duke, I love that he has a tail. Let's go ahead and put that on. Uh, why is there two different hats? Do they look different? They look a little different. Okay, the ear is like up on this one. And then this one is down. I kind of like the, the ear being down. What type of attacks do you got, Mr. Fisher? On? Let's see. Oh, he shoots out, what is that? The Typhoon? The Razor Blade Typhoon attack? That would easily do some damage. Let's bring out the King Slime. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's easily doing some good damage. You can kill it in no time. All right, up next, we got Mothron here. My wings are way brighter. That means I'm cooler. What do you got in the shop? Uh, pretty much like everything that you get from the event. Cool. Let's go ahead. Let's see your attacks. I have no idea what the attacks would be. Maybe like she shoots out eggs or something. I don't know. Let's see. Am I on the spot or am I wrong? Do you even attack? Can you defend yourself? Oh, and she threw out eggs. And look, little baby Mothrons come out too. Oh my God. I am a genius. All right, let's bring out the uh, Pump King next. My boy is dripped out. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm messing with the fit. So that's the exact reason why I'm going to steal it. We got some options here. We could have the uh, the helmet that glows. Looks really cool. Or we could have this one. I, I kind of like both of them. They're both cool. This one's got like a little bit more to it. Kind of shakes when we move around. This one, just a little bit more tame. He's got a good bit of items in his shop here. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see what type of dance. Oh, he killed something. Looked like he shot out like a pumpkin head. Those pumpkin heads, they do good damage. So, all right, let's bring in the next person here, which will be, yeah, I guess the Ice Queen. No sand tank, no morning wood, no ever stream. Just straight to the Ice Queen. Got it. The Ice Queen got a nice slim physique. But yeah, let me go ahead and put on this fit here. Okay, I don't look as cool as you with mine. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is like cosplaying expectations versus reality. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see what type of attack she has. I expect something crazy, something ice related. Go ahead. Okay. And I like how she does it too. She kind of like sticks both of her hands out like that. It seems like it penetrates multiple enemies too. Next up, we got Betsy. Betsy looking big and bulky. Let me go ahead and steal your outfit. Wings included. I got to include the wings. Betsy, I honestly expect a lot from. She only sells the stuff that she drops. It looks like no ogre stuff. Uh, I hope in the future, they might as well just add in like legit everything. Uh, mini bosses, bosses, you know, legit just everything. Might as well. It's not going to hurt anyone. The more NPCs, the better, right? Yeah, her attack, she shoots out the little fireball she does. Okay, I might have spawned a little too many enemies. All right, this next one is pretty funny. It's literally the Martian saucer as a just straight up NPC. Not like a Martian wearing maybe like a like a cosplay of a saucer. Not straight up, just a saucer with legs. <laughs> I like it. But I do think the other idea maybe check out like a Martian role playing, like wearing a saucer on him. That might work. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see his attacks here. Look like he just shot out some lasers. Honestly expected. Okay. He's got some range on him. He's shooting from deep. Looking like LeBron out here shooting from the three. I should have said somebody that shoots threes better. Maybe like Steph Curry. All right, let's bring in the EOL, Empress of Light. What's up? Let's go ahead and steal her whole fit. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I feel like you guys can see the fit. I don't really need to steal it, but whatever. Too late. We also have a different mask we can put on here, as you can see. We got legit like her head that we just tore off of her body. <laughs> she looks a lot better in this fit. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what you got. I'm expecting something crazy from the Empress of Light. What do you got? Ooh, just like a giant, like, beam. All right, we're coming up to the Cultist and the Moon Lord. Boom, there's the Cultist. Wait, is the Moon Lord even on here? Am I blind? Oh, there he is right there. Cultist, he literally looks like exactly what you expect. Shoot, I'm gonna have to steal the drip. I'm joining the cult, baby. So he's got like this one with the long nose that the mod adds in, and then he got a short nose one. I'll be a short nose so we can, you know, tell the difference. But yeah, let's see some attacks from you. Look like he shot out something fire related. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't have to run. Go ahead. Oh. Does he have a different attack every time or is it the same thing? I think it's the same thing. 
pretty good attack though it looks like uh well i don't know it looks a lot bigger than it actually like does the damage to look that big but it can hit multiple enemies it did kill two at once last but not least hopefully i didn't miss anyone moon lord baby oh yes he's got the moving tentacles everywhere his mouth his face his legs you love to see it. Let me go ahead and put on everything here. Now him, I definitely expect something crazy in terms of attacks. What you got? King Slime is who I'm bringing out. Show me that you could defeat him. Shoot a laser. Please just shoot a laser. Do something. Anything. Anything. Work in progress? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, here we go. He shot at a laser. I kind of wish he shot like the giant laser. I don't know. That might be too crazy. But it's the Moon Lord, man. I expect crazy. I do like this attack, though. You see the pose he hits when he attacks? My boy really be hitting that pose. Hey, they're doing great damage. But yeah, to end off the video here, I'm going to bring in all the NPCs. And I'm going to have them kill a boss. Let's do it. All right. We got the whole gang here. This kind of gave me some Terraria NPC Olympic ideas. Maybe we have normal NPCs versus boss NPCs. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, let me go ahead and bring in a boss here. Who are we bringing in? Let's bring in the Queen Bee. I don't know how much damage they can do, but let's bring in the Queen Bee. Oh. They got the queen bee down easy. All right, all right, I see y'all. I gotta bring in something crazier. All right, queen slime. Y'all should have no problem here. Okay, they're having a little bit more problems. A lot more health to have to deal with. But other than that, they're still doing great damage. None of them are like in here fighting. They're all on like one corner. All right, let me let me mix it up. Let me bring them over here. Go ahead, queen. What are they about to do when I bring the queen over here? Are they about to go crazy? I don't know. They're kind of splitting up a little bit. Oh, they're getting stomped on. They started moving a little bit, but now they're back to being like isolated. Oh, there you go. Spread them out. Spread them out. They're on the run. They really look like they're competing in the Olympics now. Queen Bee is the first one to die. You hate to see it. King Slime still hanging in there. Just barely, though. I don't know if he has less health than the other. Yeah, he does. Some of these NPCs straight up got like 3K, 4K health. There goes the King Slime. Rest in peace. I'm bringing the Queen back over here. Take one more with you before you die. Oh, she took the Eater. She took the Eye. The pre-hard mode NPCs are getting murked right now. But there you go. They were able to defeat her yeah make sure to check out the mod this is really cool it's honestly a lot more unique than i thought it would be uh there's still a couple more things that i do wish to see i hope that they do add in like custom items that the npcs sell themselves that isn't just vanity you know as a little bit more of a reason to want to get them and buy stuff from them you know if they sell a little custom either pets or weapons i don't know whatever you want but it is still cool that they do sell like all the drops and stuff very useful if you're you know, when the people that likes to play with quality of life mods and you don't feel like farming all the time because you can only farm so many times in terraria before you go insane but yeah make sure to check out my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101 that's where i'd be streaming catch the streams live i'll be streaming random times of the day check out the second channel though if you miss the streams i'll be trying to post all my streams on there for anyone that misses them make sure to sub to that and also make sure to follow the game Raiders tiktok i'll be posting funny clips on there that you guys probably haven't seen before but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time